Hey guys, in this Premiere Pro tutorial, I will show you how to apply seamless whip pan transition. Let's get started. As you can see, I've already set up a sequence with two videos in the timeline. So let's add a transition. First, go to Project Panel, then right-click then New Item, and select the Adjustment Layer. Make sure it matches your sequence settings. In my case, it's in 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. Click OK. Then drag this Adjustment Layer 1 track above the videos like this. Then go to Effects Panel and search for Offset. Add this effect to the Adjustment Layer, then search for Gaussian Blur. Also add it to the Adjustment Layer. Then move the time indicator at the point of the cut between the videos and move five frames to the left. You can do that using the arrow keys. Then make sure adjustment layer is highlighted. Then head over to the effect controls and create a keyframe in the shift center to by clicking the stopwatch. And also in the blurriness by clicking the stopwatch both with the default values. Go back to the point of the cut, then move five frames to the right this time. Here based on the direction that you want the transition to go, you have to play around with the values. In my case, I want the transition to go to the left. So I'm going to decrease the first value in the shift center to. As I start decreasing it, you can see we're getting one full cycle. And as you get closer, make sure you precisely align it so you don't have any gaps. In my case, it should be negative 960. Also create a keyframe in the blurriness by clicking this. This will give us one full cycle. Now move back to the point of the cut between the videos, and again based on the direction of the transition, set blur dimensions either to horizontal or vertical. In my case, the transition is going to the left, so that will be horizontal. I'm going to select horizontal and then increase the blurriness, as you wish. I'm going to set mine to 200, that should be good enough. Then I'm going to zoom into the keyframe so I can better focus on them. I'm going to drag and select them all. Right-click any of them. Go into Temporal Interpolation and select Bezier. That'll ease the keyframes. After that, I'm going to expand this arrow next to the Shift Center 2. I'll pull this one down to better focus on the keyframes. I'll click away. Then select the first keyframe to the left. Then you'll see these blue handles, the tiny ones. I'm going to drag the first one to the bottom all the way. Then pull it to the right, not all the way. Just make sure you leave some space between the handle and the time indicator and do the same with the second keyframe. Pull it down and then to the left and make sure that both sides are even. So you're creating this peak in the middle. Now if we preview the animation or the transition, we get a very nice whip pan transition. And in case if you want the transition to be more dramatic and more snappy, you can always move the time indicator to the point of the cut again and move these handles more inward. So like that, pull them in and again, make sure that both sides are even. So here we have a more dramatic peak in the middle and the transition should be a lot faster. Once you create the animation, you can trim the adjustment layer down so you can duplicate it for multiple transitions in your sequence. Now we have a smooth seamless whip pan transition in Premiere Pro. If you want to download project files or any of the assets used to creating this video, you can find the link in the description below. Scan this QR code to connect with Novella Film Academy. Learn video editing, graphic design, or get professional editing services, and that's it. Let us know what you'd like to see next. Drop your suggestions in the comments below. Subscribe to Novella Film Academy for more such videos.